This is James Holder for IFL TV in association with Matt Jim Abel. With me I've got Jeff Powell. We're at the press conference today for James DeGal defending his IBF world title against Porky Medina. How are you mate? You alright? Yeah, trying to give you Porky. It's fun, isn't it? We like that. <laughs> what are the odds of getting that sort of pun in, in this fight? It's bizarre in itself, isn't it? Yeah, but uh, there's, there's only one winner here, I think. Um, the Gales looks very good. Um, I think he's going to try and make a statement. He still needs to sort of boost the, the public affection for him. Uh, he's, he's behaving better. He's, he's, uh, and, he, and he looks extremely well. Do you think this could light the touch paper for that unification clash with Badu Jack? He's obviously co-featuring top of the bill against Lucien Butte. Do you think that this sort of lights the touch paper for that to happen? Well, the, 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 the intention is that the two of them fight. The two winners fight later in the year, unify the WBC and IBF. Um, James would very much prefer Badu Jack to win because he's already beaten uh, Butte and Trox has beaten Butte before. Now, Lucien is on a comeback. He's looking more spirited. He's looking a bit more like his old self. Uh, but if Butte were to win, it becomes a little more problematic, the unification fight, because it probably would not be a big seller in, in, in Britain, given that Butte's lost to, to both James and to Carl. So he, he would probably have to go back to Canada, where Butte always sells out, and there's always big television for him there, which would be unfortunate for him, because he, he wants and he needs a big fight in England. Do you think James DeGale's win in Quebec on the road against Lucien Butte was a little bit downplayed for the fact that Carl Frotch maybe took a lot of the accolades in beating Butte the way he did to, to win the title? Well, you know, Carl Frotch uh, certainly dented uh, Butte. Would you go as far uh, as to say he, he cobra'd him? I would say, yeah, why not? <laughs> and he also, of course, he cobra'd George Groves. And it, um, I was quite pleased with James's performance in, in Canada because uh, Butte did look as if he'd gathered much of his old self and he put up quite a spirited performance without really threatening to win the fight. The disappointment was George uh, with Badu Jack. Badu Jack had not looked very impressive in his previous fights and to lose that was probably, you know, well, the knockout at Wembley was the most physically crushing thing of all. But in terms of his optimism, that must have been uh, quite devastating for the Saints. I want to come to George Groves in a moment if I can, but again, I just want to touch a little bit on Callum Smith being the mandatory for the winner of Badu Jack versus Lucien Butte. I know a unifi unification fight will overrule any sort of yes. mandatory obligations, but again, it's interesting to have another young British fighter, 168, looking to contend, isn't it? Well, we're in a boom time for British boxing with all the world champions. So many, in fact, it's almost too many for some of the lesser lights because they're not getting the kind of uh, the coverage that they maybe deserve. They should, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, yes, but having said that, Callum is one of the brightest of the rising stars. He's, he's you know, the best of the brothers. Bless them. Fantastic, that family, having four British champions. And, uh, but, but he is the danger man coming up for the, the, the royalty of the super middleweight division, without question. He is going to be a handful of every fights. He doesn't want to go too soon, though. Um, I, I, th I would think the winner of Jack and Boutte, if he took it next year, would be about right. Uh, he might need a little bit longer to take on James. Mm. I mean, how big, potentially, could that fight be? Do you see that as a future stadium fight? Or do you think it's a fight that could maybe go under the radar a little bit? What, what are your thoughts uh, on uh, I do feel that he's got to... Uh, Callum has got to be brought out more into the public domain. Um, people are aware he's a good fighter. The core boxing followers uh, you know, are very, very optimistic for him and very excited by him. But he's not crossed over yet to the general public. You, so you couldn't see this going to a football stadium at the moment. Um, uh, it might need to percolate a bit, that one. And he's going to get better for another couple of good fights against good opponents.